Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Right behind me, I have my 2001 7th gen Toyota Celica, or Celica, like the Americans say. I've been daily driving this car for about one to two years now, and I think it's time to talk about the things I like and dislike about this car, so you guys get an idea of what this car is like to drive. So starting off in no particular order, I'm gonna talk about the things I like on the exterior. Starting off, just the look of the car in general. These cars were known for being pretty sleek looking. It was pretty ahead of its time with the design also the way the headlights look looks pretty cool. What are you doing cat? There's a cat over there Rory, Rory. <laughs> And also to do with the design is actually the color of the car This is like a very high metallic silver that we actually painted myself We as in me and my dad we painted this entire car. It's a really nice silver it turned out really cool And also on the hood here as you can see there's an actual full functioning hood scoop this thing actually goes straight through Let's take a better look at that so take a look at that. It actually goes right through and then it goes right down. It's basically to cool off the exhaust pipes in the back, but either way, it's kind of cool that it actually has a functioning hood scoop. Most sports cars and muscle cars around this time didn't even have that. Uh, on our Mustang, it's just a fake little flimsy one that's just slapped on there. It's not even functional, but it's kind of cool to see that this one actually has that. Okay, Rory, stop jingling so much. <laughs> <laughs> so another big thing about these cars is they're fairly easy to modify and I've seen many different things people do put different headlights on right here We actually have some aftermarket halo LEDs in here. These are not original headlights Not everyone likes them But I thought they looked pretty cool and they kind of came with the car anyway Also these wheels came with the car. They're aftermarket as well. They look way better than the stock ones But yeah, I've seen other things like people put Lambo doors on here people put turbo kits on these cars You can do all sorts of things, but Moving on to the back, the, another main feature about this car is the fact that it's actually a hatchback. That's kind of cool. Right here, this whole rear window opens up and you got a nice little trunk in there. Fairly big trunk actually, but yeah, pretty cool hatchback. So moving on to the interior, there's a couple cool features in this interior. And main thing is actually how cool these seats are. These are some pretty sporty seats and in general, the interior is pretty sporty looking. These are some nice seats. You can get some close ups of those. They look like nice like racing seats. They're not like leather or anything, but they're still pretty comfy and they look cool. So I say, come along with me and uh, we'll go for a ride. <laughs> it's quite the squeaky door. Yeah, that's another thing maybe. <laughs> I don't really like, I need to oil that door really badly. <laughs> But let's go. So now that we're driving it, one thing I actually really like about this car is it handles corners really good. And we'll test that out going around some corners. But it's actually quite nice. And it just takes it like nothing. Like compared to other cars I've driven, this one is really responsive on the corners. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite fun to drive. And a reason why I like dailying this car is actually it's quite fuel efficient for only being a 1.8 liter four cylinder. So it's fairly fuel efficient and I get about 26 miles per gallon and that's about nine liters per hundred kilometers. So yeah, it's actually quite nice on fuel. It's no like crazy good or anything, but it's pretty good for a daily driver. And of course, the last thing I love about it is that it's a Toyota and Toyotas are very reliable and they're a pretty good brand and I like it and I haven't had any problems with this car at all, really, except the dead battery one time, but that's about it. <laughs> My foot is to the metal right now. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Okay. Once it goes downhill, then it picks up speed, of course. So starting off with things that I don't really like, these windows are almost too high for you to put your arm up here and it can kind of get awkward and it's just not a very good car because it's, it's like a, just the design of it but it's too high for my arm. <laughs> but also back to the engine, one of the things is actually how gutless this engine is. I'll close that window so you can actually hear me without me yelling all the time. But let's just test it out. This car is actually very gutless and often I can just floor it and it's not gonna take off or anything. And it really is the engine mixed with how bad this transmission is. Here, I'm floored right now. Oh, it downshifted. Going up a hill. It's, it's going, not extremely fast or anything. <laughs> and you hear that it's just holding the RPM at like 5,000 the whole time. <laughs> and I can just floor it and sometimes it just won't shift and then you're just not doing anything. It's like, wow. 
Now another thing about having a two-door sports car like this is how stinking long these doors are. And when you're parked next to a car, you actually have to consider that when parking next to a car. Because I've had it multiple times where I just can't get out because I'm just squeezed because <laughs> the door's just too close to the next car. Because the amount of, um, yeah, you understand. Another thing about this car I forgot to mention is actually when you're sitting in the back, these seats are so cramped. There's like no room. And I mean, it's bound to happen since it's only a two door, but I mean, even headroom wise, there's like no room back here. It's really only a two seater. <laughs> oh, my foot's stuck. Help me, help me. <laughs> I can't get my foot out. Oh, there we go. Oh, got it. So heading over to the back, it being a hatchback, it means that it actually has struts to hold it up. But I mean, these struts just don't work. <laughs> Take a look at this back end. This rear bumper looks really ugly. And honestly, I mean, some people might like it, but I don't really like the look of these back ends. It's kind of just like they had nice designer at the front and then they just gave up with the design on the back. So that's what it looks like to me. But and I think that also has to do with that. It's only a GT model. There is a GTS model and there's like tsunami kits they're called for the body kits and whatnot. This has the base model of everything. It's not that fancy looking, but it is what it is. So coming back in the interior, if you look through the rear view mirror, uh, you'll notice that you really only see the spoiler and the spoiler being like that piece right there so in the winter time when ice builds up it usually builds up right there and then you can't really see anything through the rear view mirror so it's kind of just dependent on your side mirrors but yeah that's one of the side effects of having a hatchback like that too it even has window defrosters in the back but they often don't work that well and now we have the incident where in winter tyson broke the door handle yeah <laughs> i actually <laughs> broke the surrounding as you can see here there's two pieces and that's exactly where the arms for it swing basically i think the rubber moldings in the winter time just aren't that very good they need to be oiled or something because it the door just got absolutely frozen and i yanked on that so hard i could not get it open eventually i yanked so hard that it just broke the actual handle so that was lovely and then i still couldn't get it open so i had to go to the other side open that door because it actually opened and literally kick that door open so i mean this is in like minus 25 weather in canada but yeah still it's front wheel drive, so it's pretty decent in winter, but that's definitely one of the side effects. And that about wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of all the things I like and dislike about the seventh gen Toyota Celicas. Comment down below anything you guys agree with or disagree with, what you guys like about these cars. But that's about all I have to say. And thanks to my sister, Alicia, for filming. Do you have anything to add about this car? What you like about it? Or? Well, truthfully, the one thing I like about it is the handling, especially since I was the passenger. The handling was quite nice, made me feel more safe. That's good. Well, um, the safety one thing, feature. <laughs> uh, that I disliked about it was that while filming, this door, both sides, yeah, this it kept door closing. would not stay. Yeah, I know. They kind of suck, but <laughs> just so, like the hatchback too. Nothing in this car stays open. It was on the other side. Yeah. Yay. But, yeah. Anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So subscribe, stay notified, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. I think it's time that I spend a bit of time to talk about it. Woo. If you take a look through the rear view mirror, you see only the camera. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Rolling. Robot. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, um.